Hey there, everyone. Here we are, episode four, I believe, and we are doing fairly well. Uh, each video has been about average of 40, a little longer than I thought, but once I start getting on a roll, I really just want to... Oops, hello. Well, that didn't work. Great start. A, I wanted to rest. I still have that one Gourd Seed Emma has, but I think I should be okay. You should be able to just kind of pop right through this fire. Uh, they don't allow it on the... Okay. There's another time where you can jump through there. I guess it's not right now. What we are going to do, though, take out this guy. We really aren't interested in these dudes over here, so this one we are going to just out. There we go. And the reason for that is to literally avoid aggroing all those guys, because they will definitely bring a couple over the river. We don't have to kill all of them. We just want to take down this dude, then the other dude. Uh, we are going to use one of our NPC friends here today. Sorry, decrease that volume just a tad. Alrighty, and then we're just going to keep inching our way along here. A drunker's going to walk out of there. There's two shield guys, so actually I haven't put on that shield yet. That would have been a good time to do so, but we do have the means to uh, take care of that. So what we have to do is start playing a wonderful game of like pretty much zigzagging across the yard to get who we want separated from uh, other people. That's, uh, so, yep. So, we need to get all of his punks, which are just two left. Uh, three, actually, three punks left. Shoot. Now, they will aggro at far range, but the problem is they've actually run at the very similar speed. Uh, oh, he missed me. Lucky, lucky. What you can do is keep taking the one circle through the, uh, house and all that stuff, but we're not too interested in that. We just want this dude to drop or something. Okay. Now, that shield guy, he actually isn't very aware, so I'll tell you what we could do. Wow, this is silly. This is just silly. Oh, hey, dude. Alright. Uh, and then one last dude. Excellent. Yeah, cleaning up the courtyard is the hardest uh, part of this dude. After that, you're pretty much good. What you could do is, I believe eventually, you could leave him alone. But since he's actually one of the more beginning game bosses, he's not nearly as hard as the other drunkards we fought. So we'll we'll be able to uh, work through him here. As you can see, I already have half his bar. He's not. He's just not giving up though. Yep, almost got a bar down. Just keep letting him mash against the system here. Uh, missed. That's a dead. Yep, that's one death. If I really wanted to, I could go offensive with the firecrackers, probably. I say, I get some extra hits in there. I'll have to do that for speed reasons. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he did not care. Alright. Yeah, it's also more dangerous because it is the offensive route, which means sometimes he just doesn't care. Alright, come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. There we go, we got him. Uh, the boss we're going to fight after this is a pretty significant boss storyline-wise. Well, is it storyline-wise? Actually, I don't think you ever have to do this boss. But it's a, it's a really tough fight early on, is what I want to say. Definitely, for sure. As you can see, he's only worth 212, which is practically nothing. Compared to what the bosses uh, and enemies we were fighting. Like, some of those musket men were giving 160. That's why this guy really was an early game. Okay, don't do this to me. Don't, they're going to do it to me. I hate when they don't. Like, look at that. He still kept attacking. Sometimes they just don't stop with their combos, man. Just do not stop. Oops, come on. There we go. Oh, yeah, we're going to be picking up a lot of items and stuff. I think a couple of bags of money, me do. Uh, we're going to run through this door, pick up this prayer bead here. Another relatively secret prayer bead. There we go. I'm just going to run right back out, right to here. Boop. All right. And then we're going to run back over here. Uh, the last gourd seed... Sorry, I'm just just took a shower. Trying to get some water out of my ear right there. All right, 
So, oh, I didn't rest. No, I need to rest because I really do need to have a full full gourd. It's probably not, but on the off chance, you know, I like desperately need it, and I was too lazy to sit down for ten seconds. Not a not a good. Oh, uh, starting off great. He gives us a snap seed. Might as well talk to him. Actually, no, I'm not going to use snap seeds anymore after this run, so no point. Uh, yeah, we're only missing three gourd seeds. One of them is story related, one of them is bought, and I have the other one. So sorry, we're missing two gourd seeds. One's bought, one's story related. Alright, yada yada yada, Lady Butterfly. Now let's hope she doesn't start off with a really annoying attack. Uh, whoops, I'm gonna need to change that, there we go. So this is why you need pretty much, like the sole reason why you need the shuriken in all honesty. It, it's this boss alone. Yep, just knock her down, follow up with some attacks. Uh, this is not ideal for her to keep popping off like that. Really, I just want her to kind of stay close. Because when she does the leg attacks and the leg blocks, that is like ideal for a uh, posture building. Here we go, yeah, now we got her. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh, she doesn't, that's right. See, that's the one attack we don't want her to do, because she really does not care if... Uh, we hit her at all during that. So yeah, one leg. Hopefully she does perfect. Perfect. Excellent first phase. We're also pretty jacked up on attack power and posture right now, so really um, we should be trashing her about this bad. Uh, pop the Ico because she spawns. Well, she'll jump right back down. I actually popped that pretty early. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, way early. Whoops. We don't want her, so what she's going to try to do now is pop back up onto the roofs, and we don't want her to do that. So what we're going to try to do is get her... Oh, no way. If I actually get this one cycle, no. Yeah, I don't care what any other attack she does. I just don't want her leaving. Oh, man. Yeah, like I, don't, like I said, I don't care. I will literally take a death to get her not to pop up in the second phase. Got her. Oh, baby. That's the first time I've ever got second phase skip on her. That's perfect. That's such a huge time save. If you ever played her, she's supposed to start doing some stupid stuff up on the uh, tripwire. Well, not tripwires, but up on the wires there. And we just said no. We said no to that. Nice. Nice. That's, um, that's a huge win. Yeah, it's really huge. Uh, all you're missing is, I think I get crapped on by Al, who is our father. Alright, perfect. We're back here. I might as well, I guess, talk to this dude. Just get some, uh, some stuff equipped. He also gives us a shinobi text, I believe. Like, if I give him enough of these, I think he gives me a text, which actually has... Um, some decent abilities, I believe. It has the Gord healing upgrade and all that. Yeah, so let's go check that one out. I think there's like one to two things actually I might be able to pop from there and the skills I just got. Alright, let's go. Come on. Yeah, some good stuff. That's some good stuff right there. I'm, I'm happy with that. That was a great fight. Great fight. Alright. We're going to go kill a spear dude. We initially skipped um, do, 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 this one. So the grappling hook attack's really good. Uh, so is the chasing slice. And I'll see, which one was I saving for? That's not bad. And uh, flowing water. Yeah, no, we need flowing water. So I'm going to save that. I do realize I have a memory. I will pop that. Oh, shoot. Emma's not here. Okay. So if you ever play this game, you know how we have uh, Kuro's room in the castle now. Well, this is like a weird, I don't know why they added this. It's like a weird shortcut if you're just going to go between Kuro's room and the Lapidated Temple. But in all honesty, it's almost the same amount of time by you run there and stuff. But if you never knew that, I figured I'd just show it. Though it's nothing uh, really necessarily mind-blowing, so, you know. Alright, while we're here also, actually, we're going to talk to, uh... We're going to talk to Emma a couple of times just to get this dialogue out of the way now. Yeah, she's talking about the immortality and all that. Okay. Give the Gord Seed. Yes, perfect. Okay. And then, where is Kuro? Can we eavesdrop on him again? We want to eavesdrop on him, like, one more time. Okay, maybe in the future there. Whoops. 
But yeah, just keeping up with Emma is really important because that'll save me a bajillion dialogue lines later in the game. And trust me, I don't want to sit there mashing uh, E and enter for like five minutes. So we definitely want to try to get it so she is moving as of right now. So yeah, we'll enhance her physical attack power. And we are actually going to travel to the ravine. So what is that? Ashina Castle. Uh, Ashina Reservoir. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. We're going to go take down a spear dude that uh, I didn't fight earlier. He's really hard in the early game. So I figured, you know what? And um, if you're struggling against them, because spear guys in this game are pretty freaking tough. So don't feel bad if you can't like easily take out a spear dude first time through. They got really strong attacks, uh, and they really only do Mercury counter stuff. So pretty much if you mess up once, you just get obliterated. So, well, we're, and that's why we've gone through this painstakingly long process to get as many skills as possible. So we can essentially get rid of this dude as quick as we can. Now, I think I aggravated a little more people than I normally do. And what that means is we're just going to have to sit behind this dude a little longer than normal. Almost had it, darn. Yeah, so we're just going to have to sit here. So that big that big butt spear. So yeah, this dude's... Oh, man. See, I'm trying to hide from him. I might even pop a gun. So I'm going to pop a sugar. I'm really not going to use many of these in the future. So I really just don't want to appear to be visible right now. I just want uh, him to go away. Because I think even if I backstab... Excellent. Okay, now, now I can go for it. Everyone's losing their interest. And because of that exact reason, we're also going to pull this dude. Since we already pulled him around, we're going to pull him right over here. Uh, we don't want anyone else joining this fight. We don't want him running down the stairs because he's got some huge wind-up to his attacks. And he really loves to move around the map. Well, not around the map, but around the area. So, yeah. As you can see how much damage we're doing. And then, like, because this is your only real time to get damage on him. Is when he, like, messes up that attack. Oh, yeah. See, look at that. Look how much damage that is, even at a... All that is prayer beads and stuff, so... I really just recommend you take care of them now when you're super over-leveled. There we go. It looks easy, but trust me, it's because we're so far along. This guy's gonna give me, like, hardly any experience. Yeah, 465, that's nothing. But it is a prayer bead, it is okay. Ma oh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, nope, that one. And we're not gonna rest at this idol, because at this point, I think this idol might be a little too odd. We'll see, though. really depends on how many people followed us. Oh, hello. If that's the only people, we'll actually sit here. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it read my E. Come on. Okay. We're going to go get another one here at the temple grounds. And then we're going to go fight the, uh, the monkeys here. So the folding monkeys, sometimes I do them really well and sometimes I don't. There is an actual strategy for them and I haven't really looked it up too, too hard. Sometimes I get the first couple really well and then other times I just, man, do I struggle. Because there's one that can hear, one that can see really well, I believe. And then one that is just fast, I think. It lacks hearing, but I can't remember the... Actually, it'd be quicker if I just go back to the idol. I need to go up towards that one place. Uh, yeah, try not to bother me, guys. There's a lot of dogs and stuff, and that's why I always skip this. You can, like, technically do this huge runaround, but it's not worth it. There we go. Uh, I could have even gone up to the pagoda there. I should have done that. Oh, well. I don't think they'll catch up to me. And they totally did. Oh, well, one fell off. Okay, there we go. Come on. Yeah, because we want to go to... And we need to do it quickly. Main hall, main hall, main hall, main... No! Dog. Wait. Dog. Man, why are they so... Okay, let's try this again. Probably be faster if I just killed that last dog, because it's already coming. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what a jerk. What a jerk. He wasn't even, like, attacking, attacking. He just sat behind the friggin'... Behind the rock, pleading not to die because of its air. That's okay. We are going to get there no matter what. Uh, we don't really need that item up top there. It's a dragon droplet of some sort. All right. 
So the monkeys will reset. So there's one above. There's an invisible one. I think actually it already showed me the thing, which was a little bit of a mistake. I might have been able to capitalize that. So there's going to be one. There's going to be a green one. And eventually what you can do... Oh, God. Yes, this was the hardest one to get. Oh, this is going to be maybe a good time. Seriously, that one's so hard to get. And if the green one follows... Yeah, perfect. Okay, I don't want to chase the green one there. What I do want to do is pop down here. No, pop down here. And then let go. Okay, you know what? Jeez, wow, that was almost stupid. So we're going to ring this bell. We're going to hurt his eardrums. Oh, did he move? What the heck? No, he's there. It just didn't work. Oh, he left. Why did he leave? Shoot. Okay, whatever. Then there's this... Well, not this one. There's the purple one. Oh, the pur okay. So I get a really good opening, and then the rest just... Oh, wait, no, that's the purple one. There we go. Perfect. Purple one's pretty hard to get as well. The green one's typically a little easier. I don't know where the green one actually went. I'm going to start kind of slashing around because there should be uh, an invis one. There it is. All right, now to find the green one. Where the heck did you go? I must have got too close to him when I uh, did the initial on the roof, which is a real shame because uh, when he sits right there, that's the easiest spot. I'm not exactly sure where I scared him off to, so whoopsies. And this is kind of sometimes the problem of the uh, folding monkeys. If you lose one, it can be a little bit of a nightmare to find. Hello. And especially since those ones do curse. Okay, we're just going to have to keep looking. Wow. Wait. No. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. This is bad. Uh... Yeah, I don't even see, like, the footsteps and stuff. Usually it returns to the tree out front here, but I didn't see it. Alright, just give me a second. Sometimes it goes towards the waterfall, I think, is it? It's usually the bell. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was making really good time until this. I'd really prefer this not be where my uh, my speed run hits a hits a boo boo, but I believe this is going to be. There's only like a couple other places it could go traditionally, at least. We can head up here to see if it ran into here, but typically this is where the uh, the purple one would go. Oh, he is up here! What the heck? This is usually where the purple one goes. Wow, that's weird. I've never had the green one go up here. It's a common hiding place for the purple one, but not the green one. That's fine. That's not that bad. I could have saved a minute if I would have. I thought about checking there first, but I was like, no, the green one's never gone there. It usually sits at the bell. But nope. Decided to take its place. All right. This weird thing takes us here where we're going to go talk to a uh, puppeteer. It's uh, useful for a couple scenarios, but I don't think we'll be using it this playthrough. At least not during the speedrun portion. We can easily do it after. Uh, da, 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 da. You die here, but then you return to life, and this person's like, oh crap, why did you just come back to life, essentially? So it's kind of awkward. Kind of awkward. You die, you come back, she's surprised. Kind of expected you to be dead. Uh, rice is really good. It gives us uh, HP regen. And I believe if I talk one more time... No. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, we're going to take that increase... And now we're going to head, oh boy, to my favorite place, the gun fort. Despise the gun fort. But in all reality, the gun fort is actually the last place we have to go to. So, Sunken Valley. Yeah, the uh, the gun fort. The reason why it's annoying, there's two instances. There's another snake eyes, which this one should go a little smoother than the last, even though I got to technically work through two HP bars. It's not nearly as bad. Um... Yeah, we should be fine. Okay. Uh, whoops. But there's a whole crap of musket men. Like, a whole crap load of them. And if we do this well, we can avoid, like, all of them but one, I think. So we're just actually going to rush this dude right away. Uh, and the reason why we're going to do that is just to, just to get out of uh, range. Because they can kind of shoot on various parts where you stand. So you definitely don't want to be, uh... Oh, nope. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, yep, okay. 
Let me just get back into my uh, snake eye fighting mood. S yeah, snake eyes take a little bit. Cause you can shoot. Yeah, there you go. See, just gotta get that timing back down. Once I get that timing back down. Nope, it's gonna grab me. Oh, nice. Yeah, I could, like I said, just want to corral right in here. Don't want to go much further out. Uh, because once I get shot by one of those musket men, that's when uh, snake eyes here would gladly combo me with any of their strong abilities. And I'm not having it. Ooh, there we go. Uh, ooh, hello. Oh, dang it. Just trying to get down here for the remain remainder of the fight. I'm going fairly well, so... Oh, God, I hate how bad that thing tracks. You think it's over, but then just... Alright, one more time? Alright. Really likes the gun. And actually, a strategy on the first one of these people is uh, they're actually really weak to poison, I believe. So I believe a strategy is to use a CB Maru, but this one's actually uh, resistant to poison, so you can't poison this one. But we don't we don't uh, use that strategy anyways. So we like the strategy where uh, we uh, dodge gunshots, luckily, because that should have probably been a point blank round in my face. I keep I keep uh, prematurely attacking that. This is going well, though. If you remember the last Snake Eyes fight, you you realize it took like three times as long. Like I said, we get super jacked later in the game, and even though this is technically a later Snake Eyes version, it's just not even close to the same fight. Still pretty bad, but not anywhere near the, uh, oh, bye bye Oh, fun fact, if you knock Snake Eyes off the edge, you might think, oh, easy cheese victory? Nope. So what we're going to do is just, we're going to try to hug this and hope we don't get shot. Like, this this part's miserable, and I know you're thinking, well, that looked easy. Trust me, it's not. At any point, you can get shot when you're running, when you're jumping. It's just, it's, a, it's miserable. This is honestly one of the worst parts, non-boss-wise. So, for the most part, we're out of it. We still got a couple of gunfire we need to dodge. There's a couple of things that are going to explode on the ground we need to not do. And I'm actually a little nervous. So, what I'm going to do here... Um, yep, they, they are still shoot me. See, they have so many angles that even from up here you can get shot. There's two of these really big, like, cannon guys here, and they can actually, yep. And they're gonna follow me to the point where I can't rest, and that, uh, really sucks. Like, it's really quick. Like, I'm gonna try to click the rest button, but, uh, yeah, see, it's not gonna give me a chance. So, coming up here is another one of these, uh, wonderful giraffe friends. Now, what makes this one really deadly is... If you remember the first one, I had a lot more room to run in. This one's like, hey, you are, you know, you're right in here. If you mess up at all in here, you're just, you're just dead. So, first one went well. Um, first one usually goes well. Now, this is the one where he'll make me do a jump. And honestly, that little bit of a jump can really mess you up. But it's going super well. Oh my gosh, to, I must be on my game today because that was that was a nice giraffe fight, I tell you what. I think it's a giraffe, isn't it? I don't know. I might be saying it wrong. They got weird names, that's all I'm going to say. So we're going to run down here for a prayer bead and I hope I don't get lost because it gets kind of confusing on your way back, not necessarily your way to. Because your way to, all you do is look over to your right here and you take the most right path. There we go. And then you jump down here, grab it, and then leave. Oh no, leave. Oh, son of a gun. Okay, the reason why I'm freaking out is a whole bunch of lizards and those fire dudes are down here with me. There we go. That's what I wanted. And yeah, now we're fine. Yeah, as you saw, actually I just got hit by one, didn't I? Now exiting is a little more... A little more tricky. It's a little darker, a little little less straightforward, so to say. There we go. And then this should take us up to the perfect. I did that really well this time. Oh, hello. Oh, I could have backstabbed you. You weren't looking. Whoops. Could have swore uh, me touching your face right there would have probably given me away. I'm trying to bait him. I don't want to aggro the other dude because I'm pushing him very far back. And uh, 
We are almost back towards the one door, but I don't think that'll act. No, it totally did. Let's go, let's go. It's not the worst thing, actually. But if I can rest, I say I will. Because the next part, wow, six prayer beads. Man, picked up prayer beads like a boss right there. I don't need to waste any time sitting down right now. We'll do that at the next one. I'm not really taking any fights. All right. We've seen uh, our big friend Snake Boy once. We are going to see our big friend Snake Boy again. Oop, jump. I might have just got plucked out of there. Nope. Okay. Uh, go down, go down. You can actually get smacked by him as well. So even though I'm underwater, we can easily get... Yeah, right there's Big Snake Boy. He will try to hit me once, I believe. Yeah, right here. Okay, he missed. And then he'll always do his final, like, I'm going to get you kind of thing. And maybe I can see him do it. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Smile for the camera. We're just going to take this one as a checkpoint. Don't really need it. I probably could have skipped over it. But I'm also trying to activate as many idols as possible. I'm trying to do as much as possible in a casual speed run here. Uh, boom. The reason why I don't grab onto that is it's actually slower to grab that. And pushing yourself out to the side there actually gives you a better angle. In a weird way, you can actually get tripped up there if you're... Uh, if you're just playing normally, if you're thinking, you know what, let me take the normal path. Let me kill one monkey, just because uh, I hate them. Ow, slapping me. Uh, I'm not even going to grab that item. We're just going to head right here. There's going to be a whole bunch of monkeys, just annoyed. whole bunch of monkeys. And speaking about monkeys, I was actually going to end the video. Uh, with that big boy as the next starter, but you know what, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I got this. So let's uh let's go take care of our big friend, the guardian ape. Um Yeah, so let me do that. Boom. And the reason why I pop that now is because Oh nope, that's okay. Uh go over here. One, two. I need him no oh, this is a terrible start. Wow, he already backed up from where okay. Typically he uh, sticks over there for me a little more. Yeah, this is this is a bad start. Um, yeah. See if I can't get him again. No, this is a terrible start. The reason why it's a terrible start is um, typically when he's at his cave and he like looks around, you can actually get him like kind of stun locked there initially. I see he's going to start flailing. I, I do know he's going to start flailing, but I often try to get a little bit of damage in there. I do want to get him a little more firecracker. There we go. Oh, there we go. Massive damage. Here we go. All right. This is a, yeah, this is a good one. There we go. See, you, you can usually get him to do that over there. And then you can pretty much just follow up on him just continuously. But uh, he pretty much ran right away, which made this a very... Uh, I can't see. Uh, I don't want to die. Here we go. Perfect. Now, if you ever play this game the first time through, this next scene probably irritated you just as much as it did me. Because you're thinking, you're like, holy crap, that was a tough freaking fight. And you would be correct. The first phase is the actually the harder part of this boss. But once you don't get that memory, things are a little cheesy. Once he twitches, okay, I say once he twitches, we go for our second uh, Echo Sugar. Alright. Need him to get his health bar back. Now, what he should do... Oh, I got lucky. I, uh, I sequence broke him. Because, what? yeah, that's what he should do. But I was kind of hoping what he would continue to do. I'm just going to sure he toss him. Because at this point, he doesn't respond to, uh... To, um... The firecrackers anymore. And what, and what you're going to see me not do... And which is the smarter way... Is I use the spear. And the reason why I don't use the spear... Is because I want to show you how to do this boss without relying the spear. Because... I, for some reason, can't get the spear to proc every time. And if you don't have the spear at this point in the game, or you just don't use it, 
I want to show you how to do this boss without taking the uh, huge chunk. So what you can do is shove your spear in there and pull out a centipede. And that's right, I did say centipede, so if you haven't played this game, you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, and I didn't. I didn't mince words. We will be pulling a bug out of the guardian ape's face. Well, where his face was. Just need him to kind of play nice here. One attack, two attack, one final one, and... See, because he'll do that combo all the time, it's very important to get very perfect blocks because you can get him into a nice sequen, uh, sequence system. So, whether he's uh, flying at you, uh, so like this attack, so you want to go one, and then you want to go, ooh, okay. Oh wow, he is just being a, incredibly mean right now. Uh, he's losing posture damage. Wow. Dude, I need you to do a normal. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. See? And that's why the spear is such a big deal, because you can get so much posture damage. But I like the other way more like this as well, because you get to do a lot of physical damage, which means his posture bar goes down slower. So if he doesn't give you good combos, he doesn't really ow, necessarily have the HP to make, a, make it uh, back up quickly. And as you can see, he's giving me like a huge amount of room and stuff. So if he's not cooperating, you're going to want some extra damage on him to... Uh, stall that uh, recovery bar because yeah sometimes this is all he'll do and you just have to be very patient this boss is very patient driven so if you are not a patient person this boss is going to give you nightmares because you got to wait for your opportunities for him to show himself you know you got to wait for this uh, I'm just going to go for it there we go yep I say I'm not dealing with that even if I would have died there, it probably would have been worth it. Because I would have been able to have one come back. Alright. You know what's funny though? We is we do have the mortal blade, but we can't end it here because the game's like, yeah, we don't want you to kill him here. And if you're wondering, what do you mean? You just executed him? I did. But I didn't. So. Technically that boss gives more less than the uh, monk. And do you remember when we killed the monk? I think it was like, well, I guess it was just last episode. But the point is, is like, I killed the monk super, super early. And that's why I said the monk is a super difficult fight. So flowing water. We'll do descending carp. Okay. Uh, maybe. I'll have to figure out what other ones I want. Because I think this is a... Eh. Yeah, I think for the most part I have the ones I want. All right, before I forget, we need to run in here. Do 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 Oh, boom. Grab done. Lotus. Lotus of the palace. Actually, where I want to go, how much money do I have? Okay. I want to go to the dilapidated temple real quick here. As you saw, Kuro's room was actually just faded out because we have some issues with Kuro's room right now. So... Uh, once you do the Guardian Ape, the world tends to fall apart just a little bit, so we need to, uh, we will correct that in the next videos, because uh, this video has gone on for a while, and uh, where is it, where is it, sell it to me, sell it to me, boom, so we have almost all the Gourd Seeds, uh, we have a good amount of Prayer Beads, alright, so we're going to end this video pretty darn good um i'm actually about five to six minutes ahead of where i predicted for this video and that's amazing um i predicted being done with the giraffe and the one prayer bead around 32 ish 30 minutes and here we are sitting i think 33 so that's actually phenomenal maybe even 31 minutes so uh the lady butterfly fight was actually amazing that's what honestly saved me about Probably a minute and a half to two minutes there, and then we got a very good giraffe fight, which also probably saved me about a minute. So those two to three minutes easily came for that. And also, the Guardian Ape was more than happy to oblige. He did not do too many stupid things. He could have been a little more aggressive with a sword, but overall, it wasn't very bad. We are now about two and a half hours through this game, and if you know anything about this game, we could actually do the short ending very quickly here, but we're not doing the short ending. We are going as many bosses as possible. Which means we have a couple more areas we need to get to. Some noticeable figures is, um, I'll just say it now if you've made it this far in the video. It's Al. We have to refight the monk. We have to refight the guardian, but with a friend. Oh, what else? We have to fight a dragon. That's right, a literal dragon. 
Uh, we'll have to fight Al. There's a lot of bosses left to fight, but I don't think it'll take more than... I think we can hit that four and a half, five hour mark, actually. I think I'm only about two and a half in. And honestly, the rest of the places in this game, if you don't do all the side stuff, it's pretty quick. Because today we got through the drunkard, we got through butterfly, we got through a spear dude, we got through a monkey, we got through a giraffe, and we got through ape. So how many pauses did that put us at in 30 minutes? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bosses. That's pretty good. I have one mini boss. I have another mini boss. I have one major boss. Uh, I have one major boss. Wow, I have another major boss. I have one major boss. I have one mini there, one mini there. Just trying to see how many people we have left, guys. And I think one major boss. So what, five major bosses, four minis left? Oh no, there's a crap ton of minis at the end of the game because there's another mini there, there's another mini there, there's another mini there, so it's already seven, then there's one there. All right. So we're looking at like five majors and eight to nine mini bosses left. So you figured if I do about six an episode, we have about three to four episodes left. About three probably, which would put us right around, wow, under four hours. So let's, let's just assume that once I get to the much harder bosses, they'll probably only be two to three per episode. So yeah, we are looking about a eight episode series here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. Hope you're learning something if you played the game. That's the point of the speed run. Thank you so much for watching.